Hey guys, Machines and Metal YouTube channel here. I'm just working on this piece of crop generator. It's uh, Power It. Power It! Exclamation point. With uh, it's a GN5000, so I guess this is a 5000 watt generator. It's probably more like a 3500 watt generator, but you know how it goes. Anyway, I picked it up at the scrapyard, and uh, I had it was full of rotten green gas. It stunk to high heaven. I've gone and, and cleaned out the carburetor, guys. I took it apart, and it was scummy and green inside, and put it back on. And there was something going on here that I wanted to make a quick video about, just just to teach you about these generators. So a lot of them will have this solenoid on the bottom of the carburetor and it's an electronic solenoid it runs up into the wiring and its purpose is to plug the main jet when you turn the generator off and the reason that they do this is because this generator doesn't idle down it runs at full rpm all the time so when you hit this off switch to turn it off it basically cuts the uh, ignition to the spark plug however the engine is still spinning because i think this thing runs at about 3000 rpm or so maybe a little faster whatever it does while it's spinning it's still sucking in raw air fuel mixture through the carburetor and what it does is it loads up inside the engine and sometimes it'll it'll go bang it'll do a backfire and these engines are built pretty cheap guys they can't handle a backfire so what they've gone and done is they've copied this this is from a honda generator they use the same kind of thing uh, there's a little solenoid here and it's got a pin inside of it and when you turn the unit off the the pin shoots up and it plugs the the jet hole preventing fuel from getting mixed with the air that goes in the air is still being sucked in guys but there's no fuel added to it because this little guy here is supposed to shoot up and plug the hole now what happens when you start it is when when you pull start it with the choke on the choke bypasses the pickup of the fuel pickup so it allows the engine to start and as soon as the engine starts it'll start generating power within within half a second the power is fed to the solenoid to pull the plunger down there's like i said there's a spring-loaded plunger inside there It'll pull the plunger down, allowing the fuel to run up through the jet, and then you can turn the choke off and the thing will keep running. When it works, it works good. But what happens, because this is right, it, oops, this is right at the very bottom of the carburetor pointing up, a lot of junk and dirt will get down into the solenoid, and that pin will get really sticky and seized, and then it won't be able to do its job to bounce up and bounce down. And because these things sit all the time with that pin, in the up position plugging the hole when it's turned off they get stuck there guys they, they kind of seize up so what you got to do is take the carburetor off there's two screws a phillips screw and a phillips screw take this little uh solenoid off and there's a pin inside and if you if you press on it with your finger and it doesn't move it's seized guys you need to clean it you got to get brake clean or carb clean down in into the area where the pin slides into this uh this solenoid and get it to where you you can just tap it like, there'd be very little resistance you just tap it up and down up and down once it's tapping up and down up and down then the electromagnetic uh device that's inside of here can pull it down when you start this engine guys never cut these pins off there's a pin in there guys can't figure out how this works and they'll just take a pair of side cutters and they'll they'll snip the pin off it won't do its job i mean it'll run it'll work but when you turn it off you're likely to get a big backfire and you can blow blow a hole or, or crack this engine is really bad for it like i said there these things are built to minimal tolerances and when something like that doesn't work on one of these they like to fail big time so anyway that's just a quick video i'll probably do another one down the road when i got more time where i'll actually take this apart and i'll show you how to clean and service it uh, i've got a couple more generators there's this one here i picked up at the scrap yard and this one here i picked up at the scrap yard and i was working on this one here that i picked up at the scrap yard we also picked all those up at the scrap yard and uh today we hit the scrap yard and we picked up these there's another power it piece of crap right there but we got a good honda and a nice big pump on it i think that's a nine horse and we got another nice big honda that's a oh, sorry that's yeah these are both nine horsepower so we're going to work on these let me know if you want to see a video about that kind of stuff but today today's generator day these things take up a lot of space i got to get this out of here i got to get that out of here that out of here that out of here oh and look we got a few more anyway it never ends hit the subscribe button i'll make more videos about stuff like this and thanks for watching